Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie and this is my best tips for traveling with little ones. All right guys, welcome back. I am Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie and um, yeah, we have a big, big trip coming up. We are about to take all seven of our kiddos and my husband and myself on a road trip all the way down to Texas and it is a 30 almost a 30 hour drive so we are going to need all of the things to keep our little ones busy we have kiddos ranging in age from almost two all the way up to 12 and there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot that goes with that stay tuned next week I'm going to share with you guys um, our best activities for traveling but this one today is our tips for traveling all right, so the first thing I have for you guys is be prepared. I cannot say that enough. Um, expect the unexpected. It's going to happen. Just know that it's going to happen and plan for that. And when it happens, you're not upset. So things that are going to happen, you're going to have messes. Kids are going to spill everything. And if you have a kiddo like me who has a little sensitive stomach with car sick, um, you may want to plan ahead for that. I did see on Amazon they have some like car sick glasses. They may look ridiculous, but they are not expensive and I'm hoping they work because I have a child who would benefit from those. But also on Amazon, you can get the little bags that will, they're like the ones the hospital gives you. And I know that because when my daughter broke her arm, they sent her home with these in the car and she didn't actually need them. So we just saved them in the car. But there are these bags and they can use them if they get sick. So you can actually buy those on Amazon. Um, you know what? You're going to have headaches. You are. Um, either you are or your husband is. Somebody's going to get headaches. So plan for that. Pack that medicine in your car. And I'm not going to say, um, I don't want you to forget that you also need to get like some activated charcoal. We had a long trip that we took a couple years back. And about halfway through, my husband started feeling like he was getting a stomach bug or something. And we were thinking, oh my gosh, we have this whole trip that we still have to drive. This is not going to be good. He took some activated charcoal. It didn't make it completely go away, but it made it where he could manage and get us where we needed to go. And um, yeah, he took it every however many hours it said, and it was good to go. So yay. So definitely pack that. Definitely take some Motrin or whatever it is that your family takes for headaches. Pack that as well. Okay. I don't know what it is about cars, but they are like little trash collectors. And there's so much trash, especially when you have a trip. So pack some extra trash bags. In fact, just go get a whole new box at the dollar store and put it under your seat or in the back or in a bag or whatever um, so that you have trash bags when you need them because you're going to need them. And you know what? While you're at it, go ahead and get some baggies. I would get the little sandwich baggies and I would also get the freezer size, like the bigger ones, for snacks, for activities that kind of get messy and are all over the place for dirty diapers maybe, um, for things that you need put in a, a little bag with a zipper, get some baggies. And you know what guys, get some cups. <laughs> I'm just gonna say one of the best things I love about doing snacks in the car is having like a little cup, like a little red cup or those little plastic cups, the throwaway kind. And those are so handy because they fit in the cup holder and you can put whatever goodies you want, animal crackers, or goldfish or whatever it is going in the cup and it fits in the cup holder so that is super good definitely get those for snacks and then you can just toss them I wouldn't even get the expensive ones because you're just gonna toss them um, after that but something else that we have used are the trays I did a video gosh a few years back with another mom we talked about all of our favorite mom tips and hacks and this was one that we love it is the travel trays. Actually, I'll link that video below if you're interested in knowing all of that. But the travel trays, they're actually like the school supply boxes, but they work perfectly for snacks. And you can even put the kids' little drink in there. You can put all their snacks and goodies. Um, you may want to get some napkins or some way to line them because otherwise you're going to have to wash them a lot and they get messy. So 
I will recommend that getting some sort of something to line them with maybe, or even just wipes to wipe them out, however you want to do it. Um, but yeah, on speaking of wipes, go ahead and pack some extra wipes. You're going to need those too. Um, yeah, all the things. Kids are going to get hurt. You're going to need wipes. You're going to have messes. They're going to have dirty hands and you're not going to have a sink. So get the wipes. Um, probably you want some antibacterial stuff if that's what your family does as well. And you know what? When you start planning your trip, know there's going to be unexpected stops. <laughs> and there just are. There's going to be the time when everybody goes potty and then you get 20 minutes down the road and somebody has to go potty again. Or somebody thought they didn't have to go and now they suddenly do. Um, you're going to have things. So plan for that. However long you think your trip's going to take you, I would add a few hours to that. And if you get there early, yay. <laughs> and if you don't, then you're not upset. So just plan, expect the unexpected. Again, we also like for diapers is the little doggy bags like that you would pick up your dog's poop with. And they're super cheap. And those suckers, you just put the diaper in. It's a little tight squeeze, but you put them in there tie that sucker up because if you're on a long car ride, nobody wants to smell the poop diaper until you find a trash bag. I'm just saying. Um, so yeah. All right. So let's talk about a timeline, a visual timeline. I did this with our kids when they were really small. We actually did a cute little banner one, but honestly, you don't need to even do that much. We had one where we strung it from the driver's seat to the passenger seat all the way across. And I had little um, like a banner. I had little pictures about things that we were going to do along the way or things we were going to see or stop. And then I had a clothespin and I would move it to show the kids how far we were on our trip. Okay. So, um, it might say things like we're going to have two hours and then we're going to have a lunch break and then we're going to have three hours and then we're going to have a potty break or whatever. Right. And then we're going to have a hotel and it would have all these things and they could see where we were. However, it does not have to be that fancy. I was actually talking with my oldest. This is why I love daughters. They are so creative. I was talking with my oldest daughters about how to do something similar for our family for this trip. And she had the best idea. She said, get a paper plate and like a clock and put the little spots through it and you know, like draw the little lines and do it for a week. Maybe you want to do one per day that you're going to be driving, or maybe you want to do one for the whole trip, whichever way, but then you can just move it along and they can see the clip go around like you watch the hands of the clock go around to know when it's time to be done. Um, either way is brilliant and a good way for kids to not say, are we there yet? <laughs> because they can just look at the little banner or the little paper plate and see how far we've gone and how far we need to go. Okay, snacks. Everybody knows you need snacks, but you need more than you think you do. I'm just saying. And not only that, you need a good variety. You need sweet, you need salty, you need fresh stuff like good fruits and vegetables that will be able to travel. You need um, new and exciting snacks. For example, we don't usually buy gummy snacks in our home. That's like a treat. Suckers, those are treats. However, I'm definitely packing both of those because those are good. They're new and exciting and the kids will be so much more joyful if they have an exciting snack versus um, just the plain old boring crackers. So I'm, def I'm not saying every snack has to be full of sugar or whatever, but definitely new and exciting ones is a good way to go if you are looking to have some happy kids on your trip. And I think we all are. Um, the next one is devices. Hmm. This is one that everybody has an opinion on. How much time is too much time on a device? And you know what? I'm just going to say, this is like your permission, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to say, if it is a car ride and the kids are stuck in one spot for an extended period of time and mama and daddy need to be happy and not losing their minds, devices are your friend. And you know what? In my mind, they can have as much time as they need on the device during that time. So it doesn't always have to be though crazy time. You could add in some, okay, this is the educational game time. If you wanna make it really specific, um, maybe they do an hour, take an hour off, do an hour on, something like that. 
however you want to do it, but I honestly don't feel like it's a big problem in a car ride. This is like a special situation, so I think it's okay. Um, you can also do on devices, podcasts, audiobooks, drawing games where the kids can take turns drawing. There's Hangman. There's all kinds of games that the kids can play together. So it doesn't always have to just be, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, definitely have a way to charge those suckers. And yeah, um, I would find a way to keep them safe so that people don't put them on the floor and then get out of the car and walk all over them or something else. You may want to invest in some covers or cases, whatever it is that you need. And the last one that I have, and honestly, this is probably the most important one when it comes to traveling with little ones. And it's the one, it's the one you're not going to want to do. But I say it is the most important and the one that is going to save your sanity. And it is. Everybody gets out at every stop. We need to walk around. We need to stretch our legs. And if we are stopping, we're all getting out. I know. I know it is frustrating in and out of car seats. I get it. But you need to get out and the kids need to get out and they will be much happier if they can take those breaks and get out and run around for a few minutes. We even when we were traveling the first time we did a very long trip, we planned our stops around parks and around places the kids could get out and play, even if it wasn't for very long, even if it was for like 15, 20 minutes, we're going to go play at this park to just kind of give our bodies a break from sitting in the car and we're going to continue on. We're going to find a park that's short off the, off the highway, you know, so it's not a big deal. It's so important and it will save your sanity. So again, expect the unexpected, plan for those problems. And yeah, I hope you guys got some good tips from this video. Our trip is coming up. It's just around the corner and I am planning to use all of these. So uh, wish us a good trip and I will catch you guys next time.